need a push, I'll be right there behind you. Do not despair. You are not without allies. What we have sown in this light, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. And we for our part are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Save your tears for the moment. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them, be they for joy or despair. Tragedy and sacrifice, we rise to greet a new dawn. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Yet miracles do happen, so let us pray and will our friends hope. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. Let's finish this. Here the path ends. There is no way to reach our nest. I told you, resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled, whose prayers were unheard, whose labours were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a theris. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough.
chasm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace with you? That's why it's too soon for this to end. There are so many people in the world. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. I am ever grateful. What I came to appreciate most about our star is that there remains so much we do not know. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it! The legacy I leave you! I bid them remember, but all this time I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. And to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. Oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch Enraptured from the stalls. But I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not any more. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. You will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus. Focus 
and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Meteon, though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Alpus blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on. Call them back to your side. How disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed. That we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it and see that we all return to Etheris. Aye, as soon as we've averted the final days. Good to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it. Together.
Can you hear me? The voice is within, crying in pain, wailing in sorrow, hurting, hurting. End it. Silence it. Silence our song of oblivion. The way is open. They can proceed. So it seems. You're leaving? Of course. The Encore is finished. And I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidelin's magic. But more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin with new parts for all to play. <sighs> Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North? The fabled golden cities of the New World. The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles. What about Mericidia, the southern continent? Do you know aught of its present state of affairs? I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the Reflections will surprise you. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. <laughs> I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, don't be that way.
you still stand. Your determination defies all reason. The souls within me writhe and recoil in your presence. What must I do? What pain must I visit upon you to make you surrender to despair? No one is unbreakable. What pains one may weather may bring another to tears. But therein lies our strength. For when we fall, our brothers and sisters are there to raise us up again and again without end. I see.
gifted them escape and rendered yourself powerless. Bereft of the synergy you claim is your strength, unless you mean to call upon the dead once more. to the last, but you will be one with us ere long. You will be battered and torn and made to crawl. You will weep and wail and curse your impotence, curse your life as it fades. As we did, as we died. Such pain and sorrow we felt, such anguish and rage. We tried, we tried, but it was no use. Only when we surrendered did we find release. Only when we embraced death. So join us in despair and embrace yours. My ultimatum, what is happening? Everything I find you, my friend. I sought something in you once, as you did in me. When at last I understood what it was, I journeyed to Charlien to seek you out. Struck a bargain with the woman who shares your gift. In exchange for lending the Scions my aid, I was given the means to come hither. Gorging upon what remained of the Mother Crystal, I reclaimed the form of the dragon. And, hungry still for our reunion, I rode the light of the stars to you. I take it this is your prey. But why does it still live? Surely it is no match for you. I assumed you would be above something so banal as despair. Am I mistaken? prefer that we enjoy a private reunion. So come! Let us dispense with this distraction, you and I! You struggle in vain. You will not silence our song of oblivion.
the deliverance you seek.
We have seen the end. in love. There is only one place it may be found. Your time has come. It always does. Against fate. No matter the cost. 
We've been here before. Many a time. Thus do we know. To never give up. The hope will shine again. What we saw. What I saw. This can only end in misery and desolation. No life, no star, nor the universe itself. None should hope for better. If this was not the answer, then what is it? Where lies happiness? No matter where we flew, there was only darkness, and loneliness, and pain. We couldn't find the answers Hermes yearned for. The answers he deserved. Greetings, you who are my final encounter. I wish to hear your words, share your feelings, know your thoughts. May we please be friends? I can see them. The memories of a long, long journey. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. What they live for. What gives their lives meaning. There was never a single answer. Welcome and well met. You gather pieces of happiness, precious and fragile, only to lose them. Then start again. On and on it goes, until death takes you into its gentle embrace. which Hermes sent us to find. 
was there all this time. On a theris. Like a field of flowers, perhaps. At first a single blossom. It spreads and takes on more colours. Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. And so, before I fall forever silent, there is one thing I must do. No expression of regret will undo what my sisters and I have done, or restore what we have stolen. But if you would allow it, I would sing one last song. A song of the newfound joy that swells in my heart. Of the beauty of light when it shines across a dark and starless sea. Of a dream that from the soil of worlds now lost to sorrow, life will spring forth once more. Nourished by gentle rains and caressed by uplifting winds. A song of hope. One day, life will fill the universe again, and Hermes will see this and smile. How, I do not know. But I do know that, where there is a will, there is a way. After all, miracles happen every day, do they not? I will create a path back to your ship, where your dear friends await. Hold in your heart your desire to return to them, then follow my lead and walk forth. That hope will surely guide you true. Can you hear? Say. Must tend to. Open your. Please. Someone and. Please. Not like this. If you do, I'll never...
forgive you. So come on. Open your eyes and get up. Are you... are you with us? Oh, thank the heavens. For a moment we thought... After what you've done, you're the last person. <laughs> To be asking that. <laughs> you... How can you keep your promise if you're not here? Another fine show you've put on, my friend. A fine show indeed. What were you thinking, fighting alone? Never do that again. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? And if that sounds harsh, it's because we care. We tended to thy wounds as best we could. But how is the pain? That is gladdening. Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Gladdening! There's nothing gladdening about this! When Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you never came! And when you finally deigned to appear, you're within an ilm of your life! Damn you! Damn you for making us worry! Oh, those were cries of celebration! Anyway, well the important thing is that you're all alive and in reasonably good health, and we mean to get you back that way. For your earlier request, I'm quite certain we're in range to make contact now. Ah, excellent. Let us announce our return at once. <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> While you were unconscious, we set out from Ultima Thule, you see. Can you stand? If so, you may wish to see what's outside. We're home, my friend. We're home.
¿Está? It is. It's the Ragnarok. They're back. Thank heavens. Truly. They've Huzzah! done it! Welcome home. Yes! Oh.